Soren Vrenick, High Lord of Renholm. Tell me, Sir Cusith, are all Trinity named after mythical monsters? You are well informed, Lord Vrenick, Cusith said, taking in the floor to ceiling bookshelves that lined my receiving room. Will you take some wine, I asked, pointing at an ornate leaded glass decanter. Cusis cocked his head to one side and porked an eyebrow, watching the play of sunlight on the heavy glass. Do you offer lead poisoning to all of your guests, Lord Vrenick? he inquired, or only to a select few? I motioned for the serving boy to pour the dark ruby apostle wine, answering, There is no risk of lead poisoning if the wine is not stored in the decanter. You may take comfort in knowing that if I wanted to poison you, I wouldn't have brought out my finest vintage. Cusit was gently swirling the wine, holding the stem that attached to a heavy faceted crystal base. School to appreciate fine things, I thought, but where? He didn't get that from Trinity training. I paused, inhaling the aroma of blackberries with overtones of dry leaves and woodsy oak. Please sit, Sir Cusith, I said, indicating an extravagantly carved armchair with lion's heads atop the padded arms and claw feet at the base. I stretched out my long legs beneath the desk between us. Now, tell me how you came to bear the name of a very large, shaggy green hound, believed to be a harbinger of death. Cusith swirled the wine, seeming to admire the weight of the faceted crystal. A very civilized assassin, I thought. My compliments on the wine, Lord Vrenick. Rumors of your hospitality have not been overstated. He sipped and swallowed before answering my question. We do not choose our trinity names. They are given to those of us who survive the trials 